person on robotics. Usually something we only see on the big screen, but this man here who runs a Calgary company is trying to change that. DJ Shures with EZ Robots, the letter EZ Robots. Here this morning to show us that it is possible, it is possible to build uh, all kinds of cool things in your own living room, on your own kitchen table. And uh, DJ, I'm just going to show, I'm just going to hold up the kit here so um, we can show it off to everyone at home. Uh, Aaron's going to shoot this for us. And so you get just some basic things in here and then you can build a robot. And what I'm touching, this is the brain, right? That's correct. And, and what else do we have in here? So that would be the brain and above that is the camera and that allows your robot to be able to see. Camera, so can, okay. Yeah, track faces, colors. Uh, balls, pictures, and things like that. And then over here on the left are your servos. So those servos, servos allow you to control how many degrees an angle of, like, say, an arm or a camera okay. or a head is going to position itself. Okay. And then there's wheels and sensors and things like that. And our website is full of tutorials to help people explain how to hook all that up. And, and how, to, how to build it and, like... That's right, how to add it to a toy. So you can take an old toy that you have and turn <laughs> it into the robot that you want it to be. Okay, I, you led me to my next question here. Um, was it a love of toys that got you into this? It was a love of robots. Of was, robots? It was a so disappointment in technology with robots the way they are right now, where okay. robots weren't doing what I wanted them to do. Okay. So I had robots in my history through my profession. So yeah. I decided, hey, let's what, what make was your it. profession? Just I worked in artificial intelligence, okay. internet security, robotics, yeah. worked for a lot of different companies. So I combined all of that. Yeah. So if you think of the world having all these different research facilities working on robotics, I've combined all that into one platform. So we've been getting a lot of media headway lately <laughs> with uh, trying to introduce robots into people's homes. This so, is, so this is cool. So this little guy, and of right. course, we'll recognize him from uh, the movie Wall. This is a little Wally that you built with uh, like a, with, with a little kit. bit more of an advanced, or was it just this just kit? Just this kit. I built this Wally, and it's an actual old toy I got off eBay. You can okay. find these; they're all over the place. And the toy can cost anywhere from forty to sixty bucks. You got it, and we have a tutorial on our website which allows you to be able to add the parts to the toy. Well, and it can take awesome. you about two hours to do. So here, I'm gonna okay. show you how I'm we have. I'm gonna put them on the floor real okay. quick here. Sorry, Great. camera guys, you're probably gonna hate me because I'm turning my back to the camera here. But anyway, we're gonna put Wally on the floor <laughs> and tell us what you've you've MacGyvered here, okay. what you've set up. So our software allows you to configure a Wii controller yeah. to the robot. So I'm controlling his uh, arms by using the Wii accelerometer back and forth. Okay, so, so, I'm give so that to just you. twisting the Wii remote that most people have at home lets me control the arms. That's right. Okay, and if I want to go forward, do I just push like the joystick forward? That's button? correct. Oh. Look at that, and I can still wave his arms. That's right. Now you're going to want to see what Wally sees, of right? Of course, yeah, okay. of course. So here are these glasses, and these glasses are augmented reality glasses. Oh, right? this and is cool. And they have screens inside, which allows you to see what the robot so sees. So I can see. So if I look up, his head looks up. That's right. And, you and can if look, I look down? His head will look down. <laughs> and how do I turn his head? You would tilt your head left or right. Oh, I see. Yeah. And it's oh. kind of funny is I had to make it do that. Otherwise, if you turned your head right or left, yeah. then you'd be stuck in that position forever. So you'd never <laughs> be able to move. So <laughs> tilting was my solution for that. This is cool. I'm going to try it. See, this is going to take some real deft dexterity here. There you I'm go. Wiggling his arms, looking up and down, and moving forward. Is it working? Look at that. That is so cool. And it's all just hooked up with this regular stuff that you can get. So um, if people are interested in building their own robots, what can it? Oh, what's this? Now, how so do I get we also support flying robots too. Flying. So this is yeah, this is one of our flying robots, here. and uh, it can track colors and balls and faces. <laughs> and so we're working on all sorts of different robots. This is awesome. And if people at home, if people at home want to check out <laughs> more information on this, what, is there a website or something? Or? Yeah, they can go to www.ez-robot.com. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Wally's jealous right now. Yeah, he would be. He's, he's jealous of this, you know. He's really jealous. That's right. So we have 2,000 robots built internationally right now. And we just opened up our office in California. We're going to start heading down there and making nice. some headway with uh, California companies. And yeah, it's great to be back from uh, in Calgary and actually starting from here. So well, this is the really Calgary neat. success story. This is very cool. Well, thanks for coming to DJ. Okay. We really no appreciate problem. it. And again, the website is easy hyphen robot. Dot Imagine com. your That's life right. with an easy robot. Dot com. Check it out, man. Very Stay up cool to date with easy robots. Thanks for showing up all your gadgets. Follow us on Twitter or Facebook.